Hey everybody, Minecraft 1.6.2, and we got horses. This is a uh, city that Jenny founded, and she found a little horse field and began building. Uh, this is my tree farm. Let's come up here. We got a uh, chest full of supplies and trees. I figured if you jump up top here and... and axe your way down it'll be a little bit easier to to harvest trees uh, what else do we got over here Jenny started building um, a little village and a tower which Arctivist took over uh, she's here sitting next to me D can you say hi loud hey, hey D and then Jenny's here Jenny holler, holler. <laughs> yeah I don't know if you can hear that um, so here's the city that that Jenny's built um, Jenny, did do you know was there new colors of blocks? Like clay. Oh, okay. She, clay. She's using what? What's it called? Stained clay. Stained clay. These are stained clay houses, which I think are really cool, nice and smooth. Uh, she built a little library. Uh, plenty of books. Oh, nice carpet. So yeah, we got new carpets. Um, horses, of course. Horses. Um, what else? A lot of new stuff. Uh, we all went and found our f our horses. You guys are going to get some bonus footage of my first horse experience at the end of this video. Um, Dee's alright if I take him on a tour of your <laughs> of your tower? Yeah. Here's Dee's mighty steed. Um, she, ha she happened to find a ton of horse armor, which I, I took some of that. And our horses are now armored up. Lovely bridge. It looks like a Mario castle. I think it looks like a Mario castle. Jenny built this. She did a great job on it. Um, and then Dee took over and she has inhabited it with a, hey, oh, with a assistant, which I can't seem to find. Where is he? Um, Dee, where's your, uh, <laughs> where, where's Boris? <laughs> She had a villager in here named Boris, and he was a lab. Like, was? Oh, <laughs> He's <No>. gone. <laughs> it, I don't no. see it. What happened to him? It, no, he's gone. <laughs> what happened to him? So, anyways, the tower is. Um, that's the e This is the the evil downstairs of the tower, and I believe there's a mine. Very nice. What's that? Oh yeah, she got a prisoner. Maybe I don't know. What's the story of Boris and the prisoner? Well, Boris was apparently acting a little suspicious. Maybe he was planning on a escape. Well, maybe because he trapped him in a tower <laughs> with no escape. So I guess you're gonna have to uh, to repopulate your tower. And these are, I guess, these are the coal blocks, which look very cool. Good, good choice of blocks for this place. Okay, so um that's that's this place. We all got we all got horsed up. And next I will take you to uh the Lights Out Corporation headquarters where I've finally hit bedrock and um can finally start start building the actual headquarters itself. It's taken over a month, easily maybe two months maybe to dig down from around sky level to bedrock. So you will see the fruits of my labor shortly after I kill a skeleton all right back in the boring storage facility which I gotta take down eventually this is hideous block um, there's a little so much work still to do here but we've gotten through I think most of the hard part and can at least get to some of the fun stuff after I kill spider um, let's see bubblegum are the newest uh, addition to this server built this lovely J for me and put up some silly signs in the uh, crater um, I have a little horse horse house horses house um, here's my steed this is the very first horse that I found um, it, she, she's quite a jumper I was able to clear four blocks I believe with uh, some donkeys that Jenny picked up and abandoned uh, these horses waiting for her to come pick it up I'm, I uh, I found the horses around here, which was I'm pretty far out from everybody, so they couldn't get them because I believe, as far as I know, there's no way of bringing horses across water. 
So if you guys know how to bring a horse across large amounts of water, let me know. And then I can get uh, these ladies their horses back. Okay, so let's see the the work that we've gotten here. There's been a lot of digging going on, and I've finally reached bedrock. Um, I plan on clearing the rest of this out and putting a glass floor. And I'm actually going to tear down this because a, a good Minecraft lesson, I guess, is to build in odd numbers so that you can put things like enchanting tables in a, cent in a central location, center them all. We have lots of mobs waiting for me here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tear that down, redesign it so that it's a, it, it, it is in odd numbers and rebuild it. I'm also going to have to probably widen the crater um, to accommodate it so that everything is nice and centered and neat. So I'll painstakingly be tearing this place down and widening a little bit. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of digging, uh, clearing out of this stuff, and catch you guys up on the rest of what's going on. Um, what else? So the next thing, uh, next project for, for the headquarters, aside from actually building from the ground up, the new place is to start a uh, Minecraft rail system that spirals around. It's going gonna, it's gonna to wind its way up all the way to the top. And so we have a nice, neat way of getting up and down. Um, did a little bit of mining. There's some ravines. There was actually a really nice cave system in this place, and I, I scooped up a good amount of diamonds. Um, what else? Uh, we finally defeated the end dragon, and I plan on making a, an ender farm there, which Jenny is very opposed to because she has a sweet spot for endermen for some reason. I don't like them, and I don't like the sounds that they make. And they hurt me a lot all the time, so I have no problem killing them. But I've, from what I've gathered, ender farms are the quickest, easiest way of, of leveling up. And I go through um, iron pickaxes pretty quickly. I don't know if you've wondered why I, I'm still using iron stuff. I have a huge stash of diamonds that I just don't want to touch. But so far it seems that it's been easier to create enchanted iron stuff and when it when it wears out when it's almost out um, when it's almost destroyed I just repair them I'll, I'll go to the skeleton farm okay I'm stuck which current that's my current leveler right now the thing that I'm using to get experience and hang out there for a couple of minutes and go to the anvil and just repair stuff and it seems like that's the least wasteful amount because I, I just I can't for some reason let go of any of my diamonds and it seems like to repair diamond stuff takes a lot of experience and currently the skeleton spawner ain't doing the trick um, it's really tough to get to it takes a little while to even get to 30 so that's why I plan on building the the old ender farm which I uh, plan on using a tutorial from Doc M and um, which I believe he got from somebody else but in any case he's got the most pleasant sounding voice for tutorials um, the Minecrafts have been watching a lot of that and they have uh, they've reset their server which I'm kind of excited about they started a whole new season and I get to watch the fellows build everything from scratch the whole city and it's kind of nice because they're all on a lot so everyone's together again whereas the other um, the other season the previous season everyone's kinda off doing their own thing seems to be a lot of uh, community stuff going on which is really cool I've been watching episodes of Cube World um, B00 has been doing let's plays of Cube World and a couple other people and Cube World seems very intriguing so unfortunately they don't have that for Mac this is the bane of my gaming existence is this Mac um, but I plan on getting a, uh, a Mac, uh, a PC, eventually. Um, as far as, what else? As far as working, um, it's been really draining. It's been hard to put out videos. Uh, as you can see, it's been quite a hiatus between videos. Um, working's really, s it's, 
stressful, I guess, but it's a good, good level of stress. Um, the boss is leaving the shop to me to hold down more, more and more, and uh, so far it's so good, I guess I can say. I can't really say that because today I, I made a mistake that cost the place, I think, a, maybe over $400. I printed 10,000 sheets of... Um, and this is, I suppose, just for the graphic designers. Printed 10,000 sheets of, or ordered 10,000 sheets of, um, of notebook paper that I designed with a RGB image that ended up looking hideous. And I think those 10,000 pieces of paper are going to go to waste, and we have to reorder. So, um, for graphic designers, please um, double check all of your images before you send off to print and convert everything that you need to convert or else it may cost you hundreds of dollars um, but in any case mistakes happen and boss is alright with it and you just move on and try to fix it um, what else so yeah it's been a while bef since we since I've even got to record footage um, but and there there will be a little bit of a break in the next couple of days because we're actually moving out finally we got the keys to our new place we got to see the, the, the actual apartment and it's cool it's expensive and it's cool it's in uh, Covina and we got ourselves a little one bedroom with a pool view so uh, we plan on moving this weekend um, and setting up shop over there I gotta do all the wonderful moving stuff of transferring Internet. I'm curious to see how the internet connection is going to be over there. Hopefully, it's a good one. Um, what else? I guess that's it. Um, I'm going to finish clearing this off um, off camera, and I like how there's little flecks of stuff at the bottom. And I plan on putting a glass floor in. And once I get the glass floor in, I could start building up. Well, I, I'm gonna. Actually, I'm gonna go back into the test world, redesign the uh, the main structure of the headquarters, and make it so that it's an odd number. And maybe if I want to tune up the design a little bit, I will. I actually really like the the design of the headquarters. It, it's took a while to kind of figure everything out, and I tried a bunch of options out. And so far, that was the one I'm happy with. So I'm gonna stick to the plus design, and I'm just gonna try to expand it. And if I have to expand the actual crater itself I will do so so a little bit of building and I'll be back with uh, a glass floor all right so glass floor is completed and you get to see it coming up here um, I think I'm going to put a little bit more lava I wanted to keep it natural but I like the look of the lava this was already there and so I'm gonna probably pour a little bit I, I wanted to do glowstone before but I think I'm going to just go with lava and pour it in select location. So here we go. I got a glass floor. And I'm ready to, well, almost ready to start building. A little laggy. Um, I still need to redesign the, the headquarters. I'm going to do that in the test world. I'll probably put some lava here and maybe around some, some random spots. Um, I'm going to go in the test world and redesign this so that it is an odd number of blocks and then probably have to go in and and widen the crater so that it is also an odd number of blocks so it'll sit dead center and I'm gonna have to painstakingly tear all that stuff down um, but that's no problem I'm, I'm glad that I've finally made it to the bedrock and that was <laughs> was must have been a over a month's worth of digging as you can as you're looking at up there um, some plans for this place again I think I mentioned it earlier was the spiral minecraft or uh, minecraft shaft mine shaft that's gonna go up there and and take you from top to bottom I'll probably have branches that go off into the actual building itself um, and I'm still to this date not sure what to do with the very top of it although I do have my new logo with the light bulb and I'm, I might make a big light bulb out of out of glowstone or redstone lamps or something like that and put it on top um, but as far as what the top of the building is look is gonna look like I'm not I'm not too sure um, I've been super tired so forgive the 
the lagging of the voice. I mean, it's been really tough to try to get videos out lately because work has been really, uh, really draining. And we will be moving on Saturday, so there might be another little uh, hiatus in videos. Um, one last thing. Uh, these were, I contracted Jenny to come help me dig. And I said she can keep whatever she could find. And she did end, end up finding, like, a good amount of diamonds. How many diamonds did you get, Jenny, when you were digging? Like 18, something like that. She found a good amount of diamonds. She picked the right time to help me out because we were at diamond level. Um, so I outfitted everybody with some supplies, and I gave the diggers paychecks, which Jenny still has not picked up. So she gets all of this bounty for helping me dig. And she likes gold, so I gave her a lot of gold stuff. Um, so anyways, that's that's it for this video. I think it might be a short one. Um, I know it's been a while in between videos, but I'm gonna, I'm super stoked that I, I've gotten down here and I can't wait to start building. So that'll be, that'll be definitely next. And then, man, I haven't even messed with the horses yet. So there's a lot more to, to come after this. All the fun can begin. I no longer have to worry about, um, digging, <laughs> digging this damn crater. So, uh, I believe there's going to be some bonus footage at the end. Stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for the next episode, which will come shortly. Thank you very much for watching. Another plains biome. Oh! 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 Horses! 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 Spot! Spotted horse! Patchy horse! Horses! Oh, <laughs> I win! Pony! Pony! Oh, it's Jenny! Oh my god! This is Horstopia! Oh. Which one do I choose? Oh! White horse! Black horse! Spotted horse! Oh, brown horse! Gray horse! Horse! <laughs> Oh, this one's a mommy. <laughs> I found a freaking horse city. Horse city. Hey, everybody, look at me. I'm horse master. I'm rider Rohan. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody, look at me. I'm Dothraki. <laughs> ah, dag nabbit. Who's got a saddle? I do. <laughs> what style? Yeah. Pew. My, my horse matches my suit. Look, Jenny. Uh-oh, bucking broncos. Woo! Woo! I'm gonna get drunk and try to tame a horse. Woo! Woo! This is our only one. Love me. Love me. Return my love. <laughs> I'm going to name you Quicksilver. We're going to ride together. Y you and me.